The Atari Jaguar is a misunderstood console. While it totally failed on the market, it does have continued support from passionate fans and loyalists who want to continue to see games thrive on this forgotten console. In today's video, Stone Age Gamer sent me the Jaguar Game Drive. This is an awesome device in which you can play a multitude of programs, aftermarket, homebrew, as well as even Atari ST games. That's right, you can play Atari ST games on your Jaguar. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 20 games that you need to check out using a Jaguar game drive. Let's check it out. Collecting for the Atari Jaguar can be expensive. Luckily, this is a solution where you can play all your games on one cart. And Stone Age Gamer offers uh, a multitude of options. You can just get the Jaguar game drive. You can also update it for an additional $15 and get the storage case shown here. Comes with simple instructions. You do have to update your game drive when you get it using a QR code. The instructions are straightforward, just read them. The game drive from Stone Age Gamer does include three digital games. There's also some other places that I'll mention in this video where you can find more. Stone Age Gamer also sent me the JAG2 SNES adapter in which you can use various Super Nintendo cables to hook up your Atari Jaguar. It's a very convenient and easy way. You may have some Super Nintendo cables already in your collection. What I use for my Atari Jaguar is the HD RetroVision Super Nintendo component cables. A very nice way of hooking up your Atari Jaguar with an awesome picture. You can go to their website and see the various retailers that offer this online. What I love about this game drive is that you're able to create additional folders to organize your games into various categories. These are the ones that I use. The game drive supports multiple file types and now has Jaguar CD support. Now I'm gonna show you the 20 games that you can check out on the Jaguar game drive. Power Drive Rally seemed to get lost in the mix when it came out, but this is an excellent top-down racer, various tracks from around the world. I had a lot of fun going back and playing this kind of overlooked racer, which is now considered one of the better titles for the console. It's pretty hard to track down a physical copy of this, so this is a great game to check out on the game drive. Iron Soldier 2 is an awesome mech simulator, 20 levels and varying weapons that you can choose from. It's just better than the first one. It is more difficult, but if you're looking for a great mech game for the Atari Jaguar, look no further than Iron Soldier 2, released originally in both cartridge and CD formats. Part Lemmings, part Toe Jam and Earl, Attack of the Mutant Penguins is an action strategy game, is well worth playing and included with the game drive from Stone Age Gamer. This game is filled with British humor as you're trying to stop aliens disguised as penguins from taking over the world. Tempest 2000 is the reason many people went out and purchased an Atari Jaguar back in the day. This is one of my favorites on this console. Amazing graphics and sound. It's taking the original Tempest game and turning it up to an 11. If you have a rotary controller, this is a must play. I highly recommend checking this one out. One of the best platformers on the Jaguar is Rayman. And even though it was on other consoles, I found the Jaguar version to be a little bit easier than the Saturn one. The visuals are just stunning. This is a great one to play and good one for kids. Raiden is a top notch vertical shooter with a two player option, which was a cool feature because other ports of this game back in the day didn't have it. Even though the Jaguar library was rather small and didn't have enough classic shooters, this is a top tier one and it's worth revisiting. This is a game that I discovered later in my retro gaming and I really enjoyed it. Cannon fodder is part action, lots of strategy here in which you're moving around a platoon of four soldiers, taking out enemies and destroying buildings with special abilities, lots of fun. Many would say if you're gonna pick one game to play on the Atari Jaguar, it's Alien vs. Predator. You can choose one of three characters, Marine, Alien, or Predator, and plays totally different. It does a good use of the keypad 
with various functions and abilities depending on what character you use. There's an overhead map. I really like that feature. A classic first person shooter. While some would discredit Cybermorph as just being average, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I think it is a decent game. It's not the best game on the Jaguar, but it was a console exclusive and was the original pack-in. While it's a little dated, it's worth going back to revisit the first Jaguar game. Super Burnout is a throwback to arcade gaming bliss. You know, it definitely has that hang on feel to it. This game has an amazing, silky smooth frame rate, two player options, eight tracks, and five different bikes. It is one of the best games on the library. Skyhammer is well respected among Jaguar fans. This is a futuristic first person aircraft shooter and I really enjoyed what they did here. It's got awesome visuals. This was an aftermarket release published by Songbird Entertainment, and they still do carry a physical copy of this. But otherwise, check it out here. If you're a fan of the series such as G Police for the PlayStation, you're gonna feel right at home with this one. Continuing the aftermarket support was Protector Special Edition. It was kind of a balanced gameplay and upgrade to the original version of Protector. This is must play for fans of Defender. Just fast and furious gameplay with that Jaguar specific graphics that I love. Kobayashi Maru is kind of a throwback to some classic gameplay, rebootgames.com. And this one plays a lot like Time Pilot. What's also cool about this game is that you can use the rotary controller mod if you have that, it's pretty awesome. Full Circle Rocketeer, which is kind of a homage to Jetpack. That classic game, oh my goodness, had a lot of fun playing this. Reboot Games really nailed the gameplay of the original. And I really love to see these classics being redone on the Jaguar. In my opinion, one of the best features of the game drive is the ability to use it to play Atari ST reprogrammed games and there's a whole conversation over on Atari Age about these. One of them that's been ported over is Dragon Breed. There are also several other ports and Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters is a welcome addition and you now can play it on a Jaguar. So awesome. Having an Atari ST growing up, this is one I didn't know about. So when I heard about this game and checked it out for myself, I definitely see myself going back and playing this more. I'm a huge Gauntlet fan, so when I found out that Gauntlet 2 was being ported over, I was super excited. I actually have this on physical cart as well. Gauntlet 2 is a welcome addition, and what I love about these Atari ST ports is it really kind of strengthens the Jaguar library. It gives you know a whole multitude of different types of games that never made it to the Jaguar, and now you're able to play these on the console. It's so amazing. An overlooked arcade port, Badlands, is continuing that Super Sprint style racing game and adding kind of a Mad Max post-apocalyptic factor to it. Lots of great upgrades and tracks. This is definitely one if you're a fan of the series. Joust for the Atari ST is a very faithful port and I was blown away by how good this great arcade port is and I am happy to say it's even better on the Atari Jaguar. Controlling it with a control pad is awesome. And so if you're a fan of the original Joust, I did a whole video on the many ports of Joust. This one's for you. Last and definitely not least is Stunt Car Racer. And I had a lot of fun going back and checking this one out. If you like games such as like hard driving or race driving, you're gonna feel right at home here. And now you can play it on the Atari Jaguar. I would like to thank all those who were involved with getting these Atari ST games to work on the Jaguar. Many fans around the world appreciate it. I know I do. So those are the games that I recommend checking out on the game drive. I had a few issues with a couple games that I would have mentioned in this video. Missile Command 3D was a game that locked up on my console. It's specific to my hardware version of my Jaguar. 
and I couldn't get it to run on the game drive, as well as Battlesphere Gold. I couldn't get the game to run, and that's one of the best games on the Jaguar library. As of this uploading of this video, Stone Age Gamer is currently sold out of the game drive. However, you can sign up to be notified when they get more in stock. And I wanna thank Stone Age Gamer for sending me that. What did you think? What were the games that you liked in today's video? Comment below. And as always, thank you for the ongoing support. I'm having a lot of fun doing various videos from Atari to Xbox. This one was on Jaguar. What did you think? Thank you very much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.